Okay, Jamrin developers, this is Jamrin guys. So 39 tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be creating grid view as like this. If we go to our project, then we'll see our grid view. Here I'll represent different images in our grid view. So in order to create such type of project, the first we'll go to our file new and then select project. As we are writing code for both platform, that is our Android as well as iOS, that's why I will select this cross platform app and then click on OK. After that, we will select any project that is our shared as well as portable class library project. Here I am doing a portable class library project. In Jamrin forms, whatever your code goes to your root project rather than project that are targeting both Android as well as iOS applications. So I will be minimizing that. Now let us go to our app.cs. It may be your app.jammer.cs since I am using previous version of Jamlin. Here main page is a placeholder which contains that page 1 to be loaded at first when our application gets started. Now let us go to our design part of page 1. As we have already discussed about content page, we are placing some content inside our content page. Here we have to first of all insert our grid inside our content page. I will give that row spacing as 5 and column spacing as 5. And then background color as black i'll close that okay i have to define it by giving row definition as height of infinite length and then again height of infinite length as we are creating two heights for our grid rows and then again we have to define it by column for each rows we have to give a width of infinite length and then column of infinite length now it's time to place some image inside our grid at first we have to define image as source of i'll not add that content and then at first i'll give some row as zero and column as zero as my initial position for my first image and then background image as white horizontal as fill and expand and vertical option as fill and expand and then I'll close that image so I'll copy and paste 4 and then this image will be placed inside my drawable folder of android as well as ios project I have to copy that and then I'll rename it and then copy inside my image source tags and then here also I have to paste over here and then here now let us give a grid position as 00, zero and 0, 01, 10 zero and 11. One, one. Zero, 01, one, and then we have to place 10 and 11 one, one, as it occupies as matrix position. Let us compile and run our project whether it gives me correct output or not. It's being debugging. Okay. Let us see. Okay, we got our expected output. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching. Keep it in touch for next tutorials.